Hi there. Welcome to The Hot Dish. I'm Elena Diaz, and today we're going to make a very tasty and colorful dish. We're going to make stuffed green peppers, and we're going to stuff them with quinoa. Now what I did was I boiled the quinoa, I added kale, spinach, garlic, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Once that was done, I blended tomatoes, garlic, onions, pepper, a little bit of cumin, and then I heated the pan so I could start our ground mix with veggies. Now, if you don't like beef, you can always use Smart Ground Delight. You're going to take your sauce and you're going to put it in the pan so it doesn't stick. And that will give it a nice, tasty flavor. Smells delicious already. Now I like to use my four-man grill because it drains all of the oil. And I did add a little bit of oil to our sauce. Coconut oil, that is. Now we're going to add our veggies so it cooks nice and even with our meat. Meatless meat. And I want to add the green onions with the broccoli. And a little bit of kale. And now we're just going to stir it nice and even. And once it's done, we're going to start stuffing our little bell peppers. So we can bake them and add the sauce on top right before we throw them in the oven. <sighs> to speed up the process a little, we're going to add the lid on top of this whole little mix and wait for a good mm, two minutes, three minutes. Hmm. Now we're ready to add a little bit of squash to our mix. Mmm, smells delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, I think our mix is ready. It's been about three minutes and now we're going to stuff. Yep, that's definitely done. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, so we're going to take our mix and we're going to put it inside our little peppers. Nice and even. And now we're going to take the quinoa and we're going to make sure that we put a nice layer right over the feet. Now we're going to take our sauce and we're going to pour it right on top and make sure it gets nice and even throughout the whole pepper. 
voila. And as a garnish, we're gonna add a slice of tomato right over top. And now we're ready to put it in the oven. I've already preheated the oven at 450, and now we're just gonna make sure that it stays in there nice and hot for these peppers. And you're gonna leave them there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Mmm, this looks great. Mmm, delicious. Thank you for joining us here on The Hot Dish. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.